Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Beniza Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. No matter what you do, you need to tune into Graphic Online. You know, sometimes instead of buying all those, uh, you can go straight, you can subscribe to Graphic Online and all the information that you need in terms of daily news occurrences are right there on Graphic Online. And of course, my Graphic Online Matters of Faith. You can't afford to miss it. And I'd like to encourage all the people who, who visit La Beach, come on, switch on to it and you might be surprised and you will be blessed this morning. Now here, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with, uh, with the words, crazy bless me. Crazy bless me. You remember in Genesis chapter 32, now here is Jacob confronting. I'm still fixated with Jacob and he's like, because he really, really, I mean, the guy's ability, his reasoning skills, his intelligence and everything uh, gets me fixated. And I say, wow, wow. You know, now here's, here, here is Jacob. Now, all of a sudden in Genesis 32, he's, he's confronted with uh, his brother coming after him with swords and spears and soldiers. And... Um, then the Bible says that he got a divine sumo wrestler, like I said the other time, and they began to wrestle with him. Now, I'm very fixated. Now, you, you look at this story this way. Jacob, your brother is coming after you with sword and spear. And then all of that, I mean, all of a sudden, so you have a fear without. And then just when you are alone, somebody comes, a stranger comes that you don't know, and then starts fighting with you. And then in... As the person was fighting with you, look at what Jacob said. He intelligently rose above the situation and realized that, no, this one is an angel of God. This one is that because then he says, listen, bless me. Wow. The man is wrestling with you and then you are telling him, bless me. You get it? And then the man says, listen, I, just let me go, let me go. And then he said, no, I won't let you go unless you bless me. Now, it takes a high level of intelligence and discernment for Jacob to say that this wrestling, <laughs> I can get a blessing out of it. And listen, in the midst of a fight, in the midst of a wrestling match, in the midst of a fight with somebody you don't know, uh, I mean, you may have a feeling, you may have a, an, an idea who the person is, in the midst of that, listen, then you tell the person, bless me. The person is twisting your arm. You don't know what, what, what wrestling is? A person is twisting your arm for a submission. The person is trying to throw you down. The person is trying to, to, to uh, let you lose some points or this thing. And then you are opening your mouth. Instead of concentrating on the fight, you are opening your mouth to tell the person, bless me. Wow. You know one of the things? I've, uh, sometimes we are so fixated with the bless me club. We are so fixated with it. We register in the Bless Me Club and we don't want to get out of that particular listen, environment or mindset. Or we don't want to get out of that narrative. And sometimes there are some issues that instead of uh, praying for a blessing, maybe it is time we now begin to look at it. Because in the first place, in Genesis earlier on, at, at the, uh, at, at, you know, when he got to Bethel, God had already blessed him. And God had already told him that I'm going to bless you. I'm going, the blessings of your father Abraham is going to come upon you. He had seen all those things. He had an assurance of blessing. And he also had the practicality um, uh, uh, visitation, the practical witness or manifestation of blessing in Laban's house. He himself told Laban, all these blessings you are getting is because of me. So Jacob didn't really, really need a blessing. But sometimes what he really needed was he wanted to say, why are you doing this to me? Why are you wrestling with me? Because I want to change your name. Because I want to change your walk. Because I want to... Uh, Touch your this thing, hollow of your thigh in such a way that you walk differently because you've been walking in disorder. These are the things I want to do. And Jacob is asking for a blessing. And Jacob is fixated with a blessing. You know, sometimes we can pursue this blessing, blessing, blessing thing. It is good to be blessed. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I need a blessing. God, please bless me. You know that? I need it desperately. But here's the interesting thing. Sometimes there are some things that are happening it is not the blessing we need. We need the correction. It is not the blessing we need. We, know th we need the straightening up. It is not the blessing we need because the blessing has already been promised to us. But God needs to straighten us up. And God needs to change 
our definition of ourselves. It needs to change our identity. We need to go through some transformation, change the way we walk, so that now we will not walk in other steps. And so being fixated with the blessing, you miss that now. Until, you know, until what was going to happen, the reality of why the wrestling match came over to him. Now, this fixation will bless me can be crazy so fixated with it that we can't think beyond the blessing the blessing box beyond the blessing box we can't think beyond it crazy bless me well it's your choice see you later